In this week's video, we ask what does all-time great tennis player Roger Federer have in common with a garden hose and castor beans? Let's dive in to see what the story behind this unlikely group is. But first, I need to introduce you to Swiss athlete Olivia Bernhard, who from 1993 through to 2005 had won medals in Ironman, triathlon and duathlon across the world. And in many of his interviews, he talks about his training and how when he was eating up the miles on the bike or running in some faraway mountain range, he had time to think. And, and I always was thinking, you know, about not only another running shoe, but another running feet. And he wondered whether running could feel different. Was there a way to build a trainer that might change our experience and feel of running? By 2006, Olivia had retired, having earned around $150,000 at his peak. He knew he needed a new purpose. And that's when an engineer friend approached him with a strange prototype a night pegasus with sections of garden hose attached to the sole. Olivier was skeptical, but after some persuasion, he decided to give it a try. The moment his feet hit the ground, he felt something completely new. This odd prototype sparked an idea that would lead to the creation of a company now valued over $10 billion. And in 2010, after months of development, Olivier teamed up with his longtime friend and former manager, Casper, along with Casper's friend, David, to officially launch on running. The hose in the prototype was soon replaced by EVA foam, but the distinctive hollow tube design remained. This design became the foundation of ON's signature cloud tech technology. ON's big break came at the 2010 ISPO, one of the world's largest sports trade fairs. There they won the brand new award, bringing them the exposure they needed to start producing small batches of shoes. While early models were squeaky and not particularly attractive, they offered something unique, a different feel. This feel was crucial, as ON's mission was to change the running experience by absorbing impact and adapting to each runner's style. So what are your thoughts on ON running? Have you tried a pair? Do they feel different to other shoes? Do let us know in the comments. But it wasn't until 2013 when things really started to take off. This time back at the ISPO, ON Running won another award for their shoe, the Cloud Racer. This win caught the eye of buyers with over 19 countries showing interest. But the interest was a challenge for ON, as the Cloud Racer was still a prototype, and their plans to slowly scale up the business were now in tatters. They quickly scrambled to fulfill the orders, finally hitting the shelves with their patented Cloud Tech cushioning. The brand steadily grew, and with the three founders' connections, they managed to get their trainer in the hands of top athletes many going on to use them to win medals across a number of disciplines. But it wasn't until 2019 that things really began to change. Being a Swiss company, Roger Federer had seen the trainer around, but it wasn't until his wife had bought a pair that he took more of an interest. Buying a pair himself, he tried them on and wondered if there might be a way to develop a shoe that could work on a tennis court. But On was still a small company. In no way would they be able to sponsor a star like Roger. However, through a number of conversations, a relationship was formed, and in 2020, the Roger was launched, along with Roger becoming a shareholder of the company. And by 2021, On Running had raised over $746 million as they went public on the stock exchange. On have continued to innovate and develop new ideas, both in terms of product and also how things are sold. One of these innovations is the launch of Cyclone in 2023. The trainer is made entirely of castor beans and fully recyclable. And the unique thing about these shoes is that you can buy them through a subscription model. So when they show signs of wear, you send them back and get a new pair. But I don't think we should stop the story here. Beyond the obvious endorsements, why have they been so successful? The running shoe industry is very established, so a new company can easily get noticed, especially when they have a genuine innovation. As Olivia recalls, one of the most effective ways of selling their trainer was to get them on the feet of potential buyers and for them to go for a run. The running feel of the shoe spoke for itself, and this core value or idea around feel provides on with a lot of flexibility in terms of its positioning. The goal is obviously to help an athlete run their best time, but that can be done in many different ways. On wanted those successes to be through a feeling that was about absorbing impact 
and adapting to the runner's style. They are also building their teams differently, perhaps because of their size up to this point, but all departments are involved through the development of a shoe. Marketing sits alongside engineers and designers. These mixed teams enable on staff to all own the brand or own the shoe. And we can't ignore timing or zeitgeist in their success story. They're not alone in coming to the market. Think Hoka and Yeezy. The Cloud Tech sole fits into the wider trend of thick sole trainers. And finally, plotting a course that is contrary to others in the industry on our launching stores. Granted, flagship stores, but these aren't being built just to sell product. They're being created to share their story about tech innovation and to build community through running clubs and talks. So what do you think their main reason for success is? Do let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more. We post videos almost every week about design, design thinking, brand, digital and founder stories. Until next time, stay curious and see you in the next one.